Welcome friends. Thank you for joining me again for another Sunday of worship and wonder. We are um, celebrating Ascension today, which is a big word and I'm going to tell you all about it. I've added another heart up here to our wall of encouragement. So if you have some hearts at your house, feel free to add some more. Why not? We're all in this together and we want to show all of the love we have and it helps us remember all the good things that we have. So I hope you're still talking about three good things every single day. I've written on my heart some really, really good things like peace and family and love. There's so much of that to go around. So let's gather with a prayer, okay? Dear God, thank you for bringing us together even though we can't be together in this room at church, we know that you're bringing us together with love and peace. And we can hear your word and be together as a church family no matter where we are. Thank you, Lord, for this story today. And thank you for the Easter season of resurrection and all that that means for us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let's start our story. This is a tomb. And a tomb is where they would put a person's dead body. Now our wonderful Jesus, who had done so many beautiful things, died on the cross and was put in a tomb. But God made him alive again. Some of Jesus's friends went to the tomb and found that it was empty. And an angel appeared to them and told them that Jesus was alive again. One of the women had seen Jesus. He called her by name and she knew the sound of his voice. Many of Jesus's friends wondered what had really happened. This is the road to Emmaus. On the same day that Mary saw Jesus, the same day that Peter and John ran to tell the other disciples about Jesus, two friends were traveling down the road to Emmaus. And they stopped at a home there to share a meal. Another person joined them, but they did not know who it was. When he took the bread, broke it, and blessed it, the friends knew it was Jesus. Jesus was alive. Their friends hurried to Jerusalem to tell the other friends what they had just seen. On that same day, Jesus' friends had gathered in the upper room. As they talked, suddenly Jesus was with them. He showed them his hands and sighed and he asked for something to eat. He 
he talked with the disciples, then suddenly Jesus went away. The next Sunday, Thomas was with the friends. Suddenly, Jesus came again and he said, peace be with you. And Thomas believed. When he saw Jesus, he did not need to touch him. And again, Jesus left suddenly. Jesus' friends must have spent time talking about all that had happened, about the amazing things Jesus said and the wonderful things he did. One day, Peter said, I'm going fishing. James, John, Thomas, and three other friends also went fishing. While they were there, Jesus fixed breakfast for them. After they had fished all night, Jesus cooked the fish for them for breakfast. One more time, Jesus would appear to his friends. The rest of the friends gathered with the disciples. As did the women from the tomb. Jesus spoke to all of them and said, stay in Jerusalem and wait there for a special gift that God would send them, the gift of the Holy Spirit. This special gift would give them the power to be able to tell others about Jesus and the amazing things he did and said. While Jesus talked, he lifted his hands to bless them. And as he lifted his hands, he was taken up into heaven. A cloud hid Jesus, and he was gone. As, as the friends looked up into the sky, an angel stood beside them. They told them that Jesus was gone to heaven and someday he would come back again. I wonder what it would have been like to see that Jesus had finally gone up to heaven. I wonder if the disciples felt a little sad, knowing that they might not ever see Jesus again. But to know that the Holy Spirit, truly a gift from God and Jesus, would be coming to them.
as you go through this week, I would ask that you would think about this story and think about this final piece of ascension, of Jesus ascending or rising up to heaven. Can you picture what heaven would look like? Can you picture what it would be like for Jesus to walk into heaven and finally be there with God, his Father? I bet that some of you could draw or paint or color the most beautiful pictures of heaven and of Jesus ascending up into heaven. Maybe you could even use some sidewalk chalk and draw a huge beautiful picture for others to see. So think about this story and think about what it means to ascend up into heaven. And as we light the Christ candle and we read the scripture of this story, think about what God is trying to tell you. This is a very special story for the end of our Easter season. The Ascension. When he had led them out to the vicinity of Bethany, he lifted up his hands and blessed them. While he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. Then they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they stayed continually at the temple, praising God. Gosh, what a beautiful story. I can just picture that. And think of how filled with joy they would be after talking to Jesus and seeing him rise up into heaven. What a beautiful thing. And as we're thinking about three beautiful things that happen each day, maybe that's one of them. Knowing that Jesus and God are up in heaven looking down upon us all the time and that the Holy Spirit is also with us so that we can remember this story and share it with others. Let's bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for this story. Thank you for the vision of heaven and of Jesus rising up into the clouds with you. Please, Lord, help us remember this story the rest of the week and share it with others through our art and our words. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And let us send this smoke up into heaven as a reminder of the Holy Spirit being with us today and the rest of the week. Thank you for joining me.